still a bit gobsmacked over the moon after a bit of a bittersweet second here at the half. I was running scared for the whole the whole 26 miles, shouting for the time splits. I really didn't know what to think. As always, I did it the hard way. I led the swim out. I, I didn't see a soul on the bike. The marshals, the volunteers, the lead motorbike, the lead um, cyclist on the, on the run kept me going, kept me motivated. God, it's a long way though, isn't it? <laughs> Such a long way. To have Kit in the race as well, I think he's going to be coming in third now. And Ian Dempsey going underneath the old course record as well. I think it just shows how British sports really sort of come on a lot. Obviously, all of us racing as amateurs still. Great to see a few of the pros rock up next year and see what sort of times they can really push. It's a lovely course, and we've got pretty lucky with the weather again. Yeah, and no, I'm really happy with the day. I think it pretty much ticked the box for what I was expecting, well, in terms of like what I wanted to try and get from, get from the day. To take the win was the main aim, and I managed to do that, and then the secondary goal was then the course record. It was ambitious, I'd say, but knowing that Kit was in the race, like I think it was almost like to win the race, you'd kind of have to break the course record. Like, either someone was going to do it or Kit was going to do it. Yeah, good. Is that fun? <laughs> swim was really good I think I was like 47 minutes the lack of from like lockdowns and stuff like missing quite six months of like a year or something I think that's starting to like, have a negative impact on my like overall swim performance I could feel it in my like arms and shoulders and like rib definitely need a big like swim lock over the next like nine weeks leading into Kona for three hours and then I just think I was a little bit low on fluids so the last few station I managed to grab two bottles one of my teeth one and put it in the back and I basically just tried to get like two 750 mil bottles in me before I started the run and I think that really really helped it did mean in T2 though I did have to use the port loop <laughs> only for a number one not a number two felt amazing for the first couple of K and I think I got a bit ambitious kind of like oh was this the day that I'm gonna kind of run something ridiculous or stupid and I have to remember that only like 18, well, just over 18 months ago, Ironman Wells I only ran a 3:46. So to run just over three hours, 3:03 today, like, was incredible. Um, I really paid for it from about 15k onwards, but I think I had built up like a big buffer. I think I had like 13, 14 minute lead at, at 15k, and then I basically just had to try and hold on. <laughs> I managed to get down to about sort of 4:25 a k and. I managed to pretty much hold that the rest of the run. Absolutely buzzing, especially after like a couple of races, like Outlaw Half Holcomb went re uh, was a bit of a, a rubbish ra race for me. Yeah. Outlaw Half Nottingham went really, really well, but unfortunately it was pipped to the finish. I think it's my first like proper like triathlon win. I won like a little sprint race, but like this is the first event I probably like kind of won and I had a pretty stacked field, so pretty happy with that. Yeah, nine weeks now to Kona, so that's going to be the big goal. I've just got an entry into Bowood in um, September, so I'll use that as kind of like a train through event, like to prep for Kona. But if I could have anything like today, like in Kona, I know the weather conditions are going to be like a massive like factor. If I could put forward a solid like performance there, and then hopefully bounce off into next season. Definitely the swim. I know that sounds a bit stupid, like I let out the water, but I think. For me, I want to feel comfortable. There's a little bit of an ambition trying to get close to that swim course record. Um, and being in the amateur field, it's kind of like an unexpected thing if you could do it. So trying to get close to that. Just basically, I think my bike's where it needs to be. I think the run in the heat's going to be a big thing. So I'm going to try and do heat climatization. I've got a nice little garden shed with a, with a treadmill. So I'm going to get some uh, thermometers and stuff like that in there and, and crank up the heat and hopefully uh, if I could run anywhere near three hours in Kona, I think that would be a hell of a result. So.